Hi everybody, this is Mohanad Hamid and in our session I will explain how we can use the sewer jams uh, to design uh, domestic networks in camps. Now we can go to the next stage. We have to define the constraints, which mean our limits for the fibrosity, for the depth, for the slopes. From analysis we have this design constraints and here when open this windows we will see the velocity. We have two options. We can make it simple uh, for all project. From here, we can select the minimum. For example, the ceiling will take it uh, 0.4 meters per second, and for the maximum rate is 4. American standard they take it from uh, 0.6 until 3 uh, meter per second. I think also in the Turkish standard, or we can make a tech table. And here we can uh, make it uh, depending on the diameter. For example, we can start from one millimeters to hundred millimeters, uh, three hundred millimeters, four hundred millimeters, and we can add here the minimum velocity and the maximum velocity for each uh, diameter. For me, I uh, actually I use the first which is symbol. This is for serial standard. And for the cover above the pipe, uh, if we check uh, this consider cover along pipe length, he will ask about uh, uh, the terrain model. The coming uh, time I will explain about the uh, terrain model. Now we can check this consider cover along pipe length, and he will ask us measure cover to the swift, so feet, uh, pipe so feet or pipe crown. Uh, what is the different? If we have pipes, for, for the quality of drawing. Now this is the pipe. Uh, this is a soffit and this is here is the crown and above this is the ground level or surface and he will measure for the in the case of soffit this is the height the depth or if we foreground he will uh, from the surface to the to the crown we can uh, leave it in soffit which is better and uh, again for the gaffer minimum uh, or maximum, we can use simple or table, table depending on the diameter. Uh, for the simple, uh, in Syria we take it, uh, the minimum cover is one meter, and the maximum six meters. Uh, again, this is depend on the technology for the excavator. And see the arm of excavator was six meters, so we uh, make it until six meter. Uh, my recommendation is to make it five, because again, the, the economic design, which is, which uh, to to make the excavation less as possible. Now for the slope. Again, for the slope, we can make it simple or can make it table depending on the, the diameter. Okay, there are actually different standards for the slope depending on the Manning uh, formula. Actually. This is for our diameters. I will use this diameter in my project. So uh, first I have to select the diameter. This is best. Now I will make take the slope. This is the recommendation for the minimum slope. Actually, eight uh, per thousand. We don't use it like this. It's very difficult to uh, execute it in the locations. So we. Uh, make it the minimum 8 per 10,000 oh yes yes okay I'll make here I'll take the minimum list this is stick mistake actually we can uh, unit and formatting you can make it for to see the minimum slope and the maximum slope for the attractive stress uh, we leave it as it default we don't use it okay for uh, uh, our design we will uh, is part for design yes and the better uh, the better percent uh, we use it in see 18 percent 
I explain this. This is pipe, and this is the meter. And if I take the blue color, this is water level, and this is this is the high. And when we divide high to diameter, we call it the full rate. The best rate is 18 percent. This rate will give us the best hydraulic radius, the best performance. So we prefer in CNN to design in this rate. This is depending on the standards. For example, in the Egyptian standard and domestic network, they they use for the diameter uh, 700 millimeters and uh, and down they use uh, 68 percent and for the diameter above 700 uh, millimeters they take 75 percent as uh, for rate so again this is depend on the standard but for here we prefer this uh, rate for the node here we have uh, they will ask me about uh, the by matching, uh, actually we have uh, two options, crown or invert, what uh, this mean, for example, this is manhole, and we have the, the upst upstream pipe, came here, so I suppose it is 300 millimeter diameter, and we have in the downstream, the pipe, it will be, for example, 400, for the invert, if we connect in the invert or match invert, this means the pipe will be like this. This is our pipe. This is a crown. And here, this is the invert, which means this is the inside the face for the pipe. And this is the internal diameter. Here, we matching and the invert. For the matching crown, this will mean the upstream will come here. And the matching will be here. This is for the matching of the crown, which is better. I prefer it because this will avoid or prevent uh, the uh, water to uh, come back. Uh, and uh, for the offset, we leave it zero, allow drop structure, okay, and use drop structure to maximize uh, cover. We can use this drop structure, and now we can, uh, for the inlet, uh, leave it as it. Um, by the way, sewer CAD or sewer gems for the sewer CAD solver doesn't design rainfall uh, networks. And we explain by the time why. Now we finish the constraints.